In this video, we'll provide a second example of working with delta functions to determine what the derivative of the delta function does uh, to a function. So here, delta prime of x issues the derivative of the delta function with respect to x. So to treat this integral, we're going to integrate by parts. So if you remember, if you have an integral with some function u, and some function x, integrated with respect to x, and sorry, this is the derivative of some function v. And this is the same thing as u of x dx. Minus u of x u dx times dx. And so this is our usual integration by parts. So in our case, u is equal to f of x, dv is the derivative of our delta function times dx. This makes du the derivative of our function x. And over here, by integrating the derivative, we just uh, recover our delta function. So this gives us f of x, delta x evaluated at minus infinity and infinity. Minus our integral, delta x dx. And one of the properties of the delta function is uh, when you evaluate it at any point outside of its argument, it's equal to zero. And so an alternative definition of the delta function is it's equal to zero. Uh, I guess this should be x prime when x is not equal to x prime and it's equal to infinity in quotations when x is equal to x prime. So the delta function of x minus x prime is also given by that. So that means that when you evaluate it at x, at any point outside of x is equal to zero, then this is just equal to zero. So what we're left with is this is equal to minus the integral of the derivative of our function times the delta function. And again, by the filtering properties of the delta function, this is just equal to the derivative evaluated at x is equal to zero. All right, so what you'll notice from these examples is the delta function is fairly easy to work with as long as you remember its filtering property and this alternative definition. 
finally, in the next video, we'll uh, go through some other useful properties of the Fourier transform that makes it useful in solving differential equations.